Today, I'm making a French-Canadian classic, and this is called Coutine. We need fresh potatoes or frozen fries. You need some kind of gravy. I'm using poutine sauce because I can find this locally. If you can't find this, try to get a hot chicken sauce. This works great as well. Many places what you'll see is they'll use half poutine and half barbecue to kind of give a nice little spice to the sauce. We also need curd cheese. If you can't find that locally, take a block of mozzarella and just cut that up into little cubes and that works as equally as well. Alrighty, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start prepping our potatoes. Now I've got some cold water here and what I'm going to do is after I slice these I'm just going to rinse them in the cold water. So I'm going to get these peeled. I'll speed up the video so you don't have to see me doing this and uh, I'll be back when they're all peeled. All right, there we go. Okay, so I'll just clean up my mess here. All right, I've cleaned up my work area. It's always a good idea to clean up your work area between steps. Just keep nice and tidy and you're more efficient that way. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the, the potatoes into little wedges for our fries. You can make them thin or thick, whatever you like. Just gonna get mine cut up here and into the cold water. And what the cold water does is it starts removing the starch from the potato. Potatoes are full of starch and if you don't rinse them off in cold water a number of times what will happen is they'll stick when they're in the fryer. And you don't want that happening. So what I'll do is I'm going to continue doing this and I'll be back when they're all done. Now if you're using frozen fries, then it's just that much easier. But I like using real potatoes. I love homemade french fries. So there we go. So if we look at this water very carefully here, you can actually see the starch. You can see the water is very cloudy. And we want to get rid of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse this a few times and then I'll be back in a bit. We're going to set up our fryer and we're going to get frying. Alright, so I've got my little portable range going. A lot of people ask me what this is. Um, this is a Sultan brand and it's the model HP 1209. It was actually very um, inexpensive. I only paid $19.99 for that. So there you go. So I'll just zoom out. I've got my oil going. Sorry my voice is a little different. I'm behind the camera right now. So I've got my oil going. I'm going to heat it to about 350 degrees and then we're going to start frying our french fries. Alright, I just want to um, show you that I've got some fries here and what I've done is I've just put them on a towel, a dish towel, and what you want to do is you just want to pat them dry. The more moisture you have on the actual potato, the more bubbling you're going to have when the water from the potato hits the oil. Oil and water do not mix well, so pat them dry and then we're ready to get them into the hot oil. So I'm going to grab my poutine sauce, I'm going to put it into a microwave cup and I'm going to heat that up. Alright, I'm going to start getting my potatoes into the hot oil. I can do it by hand as well, just be easy. Always drop away from you. and try to place them in there, don't drop them because you will get splatter. There we go. So let's see how many we have. i we get a few more in here. And when working with oil, be very, very careful. And there we go. If I had not dried the potatoes off, we would have heard a lot more noise coming from the hot oil and a lot more bubbling. So you can see why it's nice to dry your potatoes off. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fry these up and I'll be back when they're done. Alright, our fries are still frying. I just thought I would show you the cheese, what this curd cheese looks like. It's um, very nice stuff. It's very salty. This is a very, very salty cheese. It's very, very fresh. I just picked this up at Costco the other day. Oh, it smells so good. But as I was saying, if you don't have this, get yourself a block of uh, mozzarella and just cut it up into little, you know, any, just little pieces, you know, that size. Because it's going to melt nicely. And it's still a great poutine. There you go. But that's what, cur that's what curd cheese looks like. I'll just zoom in on it and we can check it out. So this is locally made. There are quite a few people, companies that make curd cheese in my area. Alrighty, our fries look nice and golden brown. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take them all out and drain them on brown paper. This is just a grocery bag that I got at the grocery store. I like to reuse stuff if I can. Good for the environment. So, I'll just get all of these out and I'll be back in a second. Alright, we'll just hit them with some salt and we are ready to plate our poutine. Alright, so let's plate up our poutine. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab some fries. There we go. Just like that. And then I'm going to grab the cheese. You can just take the cheese and put it all over. Break your cheese up if you want. This is kind of clumpy, so I mean I'm gonna break it up a little bit. Just like that. Grab a few more fries right on the top. There we go. A little bit more cheese. Just on the top, just like that. There we go. Grab your sauce. I've heated this in the microwave. Whenever you heat something in the microwave, always stir it so that you don't have any cold spots. Make sure that it's heated. You want this nice and hot. And the last step is just to pour this over. And like I said, if you don't have poutine sauce, which the majority of you won't, just get a hot chicken sauce that comes in a can that you use for hot chicken sandwiches. It usually has a little bit of a spice to it. And it's very, very good. And there you go. And there we have our homemade poutine. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Mm-mm, that looks good.